All right, I'm here to show you the patch I've made on Max MSP of a uh, loop station. Uh, this right here is the way it looks in presentation mode. Uh, basically, all I have is an input, a beat counter, so you can keep track of where the beat is and where it's going to start recording, which uh, buffer you're recording into, and then the controls to control all the different playback groove objects. And then all this down here is what controls all the buffers where you can write and read into it and also save your files or clear them. And uh, these are all the windows into the buffers where you can select which part of the buffer that you want to use for the loop. Uh, this is what the patch actually looks like when it's not in presentation mode. So this is where it goes in to the feed where you can hit R to start recording. Right. It counts 0 to 15 for the 16 beats, and where it triggers the first time to record into the first buffer, and then the second time you record, it records in the second buffer. And then from there, you have the universal controls to start both of them in sync. And then once they are both playing in sync, you hit overdub 1, where it will overdub into the first overdub buffer. And then from there, after you hit stop overdub, it will clear these two buffers so that you can start the process all over again. And then the second time you do it, instead of recording into this one again, you record into the second overdub buffer. Because I realized that when you try to overdub into the same buffer, it caused a really bad feedback problem. So I had to create another one for a second overdub. So you hit overdub two the second time you do it, and when you hit stop, it'll clear these three. And you can do it all over again from square one. And uh, up here is all the controls to snap it in the line you have where you can line it up for beats per minute and you can snap it to the grid. These are all here are the functions to where you can select and highlight which ones. And also down here I have the transport which is where you bring up the global transport and you can tap in the tempo and it will sync up the tempo with all the objects in the patch. And you can change the time signature, how many beats there are, all that. Everything will be synced up to where you can record in time and everything. So that's about it. That's about the patch right there. Pretty simple. Now we're going to show our composition that's going to go along with our uh, patch that we have that um, Eric made with the uh, loop station.
the best.